George Floyd, the latest African-American man unarmed to be shot dead by a white police officer in America. For me, this goes back, way, way back to when I first started interning in radio, when a 12-year-old kid by the name of Clifford Glover was shot and killed by a police officer in New York City. And the litany and names of people who have been killed, unarmed people, killed by police, reads like a who's who and a sad, tragic obituary to policing in America. Because of course, Clifford Glover was 12. Randolph Evans, who died a year and a half later, was 15. Then you go through Eleanor Bumpers and Arthur Miller and Jose Baez, and on and on and on it goes. In Cleveland, Tamir Rice, 12 years old, shot by a cop because the cop thought he had a gun. What he had was a toy. And of course, it goes on ad infinitum. And something needs to be done. Now, there have been people that have taken to the streets in Minneapolis, understandable, but will it change policing in America? Probably not. The only way policing is gonna change in America is for the people that hire police to be very, very sure that they don't have in them the ability to put their knee on a man's neck for seven minutes until that man dies, as George Floyd did. We are going to have to take a long, very hard look at policing. It's a look that has not been taken since 1973. Because in an overwhelming number of instances, the police officers that do this get away with it. Sean Bell, and I remember him very clearly because I was asked on a radio show before the verdict came back on the cops that shot him whether or not I thought they'd be convicted. And I had to tell them, no, they won't be. And sure enough, they weren't. It's time for serious change. And without that change, you're going to get more instances of unarmed black people shot dead by white cops and more people in the streets protesting it.